the update. Let's go. Starting off, we have all these brand new vehicles from uh, fictional Subarus, fictional Volkswagens, fictional golf carts, Ferraris, Conic Zags, even just fictional cars, even an F-150, even a Lamborghini, fictional Lamborghini and Porsches. Uh, yep. Yeah. Cool cars. And as you can see, uh, license plates now cost $3,000 instead of $10,000 wasting all of my money. <clears throat> we still got the full mask, so you winter freaks, you'll just have to wait until the next update. Wow! <laughs> Apparently there's a new thing where you can, like, change the lights and, uh... Uh, turn on fans in your house, so uh, let's go check that out. So as we walk into the house here, look, we now have light switches. We can toggle it off. And look, now the light is off. Now we can finally sleep without it being freaking all light inside. And there's another cool feature. We can also, like, change the color. So, like, let's make it all red. We don't need... Let's make it all red. Does that work? It does not work. Let's toggle it. It's not working. Let's toggle it on. Okay, now it's not. Okay. Two. 255. 25. Okay. That does not work. It's not working! Also, even though you can't get air in this game, they still added the uh, fan speed, which is kind of cool. Yeah, it's really useless, but just a cool feature. And a new Starbucks for all you 20-year-old white girls out there. As you can see, it's called Caffeine Street, because we all know that that's the same. And there's a bunch of quotes here that y'all can go read yourselves, because I'm not going to read it for y'all. The most stupidest thing about this is that you can't even work here. Like, you can't even do the interactive job thing. So that's pretty stupid. And there's like a little... uh name change, or TV change kind of thing, which honestly is uh, really useless, but uh, yeah. No! And for all you hipsters and the Tesla Roadsters who want to race everyone and ruin every single RP, here it is for you. The new drag strip, kind of uh, coming from the uh, old one in GV3, if you uh, if I can get a picture up on the screen, then I'll show you. But yeah, it's pretty cool. The time things work, it's still kind of glitchy. But uh, yeah, that's it with every update. They uh, always get glitchy. Uh... <laughs> also, there's a new thing about like the render distance. Like I have uh, it on auto. I can turn it into very low, and I can't see what's in front of me. I can turn it into low, which I can see a little bit more. Medium, high, and then ultra. So, yeah. And then there's Otto. So, uh, yeah. yeah. And now the furry developers finally moved over here to Bulk. Yeah. Apparently, the, uh, the town hall got revamped. So, let's go ahead and look at that. So, uh, yeah, look at this. It, uh, looks pretty good. Greenville Town Hall Community Center. Yeah, looks pretty good. They got the, uh, solar panels. Awesome. Uh, they got everything here. Uh, they got... Toyotas and Kias, even though they're gone. Um, yeah, it's it's uh it's it's pretty cool having all of this. You know, out of out of Gaming County, Wisconsin, Wisconsin State Patrol. It's a pretty cool place for role plays. Anyways, yeah. <laughs> and now there's a new dealership called uh, Ron Rivers. Yeah, let's go check that out. As you can see, Ron Rivers. I don't. <laughs> As you can see, Ron Rivers Auto Group, stop on in, best deals around. And uh, Ron Rivers is obsessed with Crown Vicks, just like Cletus McFarland. Hell yeah, brother. So, uh, yeah, he does have his uh, IRL, I think, uh, Crown Vic out here. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> As you can see, the developers really did put some time and work into this building. Uh, it absolutely looks good. Uh, yeah, it kind of looks like a classy kind of mechanic shop, but yes, it's still a dealership. We actually do have a little, uh, warehouse mechanic spot inside where you can actually change their, your car color and, uh, make your car lower, higher, and change your rims, which is actually pretty cool. 
And as you can see, we're showcasing two of the new Volkswagens, except they're fictional. And as we walk on in here, we can see that this is a very, very detailed building. We do have TVs on the lounge area. We have offices. But the main office is Ron's office, where we can go in here and see more pictures of his Crown Vicks. There's even more photos. Look right here. More Crown Vicks. Like I say, Ron loves his Crown Vicks. And Ron has a lot of awards uh, from 2005 to 2022. Where is Ron's 2023 award? He needs his 2023 award. I'm sure that will be added shortly. But one of the cool things about it is you can actually uh, buy cars from here. Look, still got all the cars in here. It's actually pretty cool. Uh, so, yeah, this is not just a prop dealership. Um, this is an actual dealership, so yeah. But I would rather go to the dealership over by Spawn Point because, uh, yeah, who wouldn't? And by the way, there's a brand new code. Um, it's basically winner underscore 23. And I've already redeemed it, but it, it basically gives you 20,000 in game cash, uh, which is, uh, pretty cool. And they fixed some bugs too. And I think that concludes this update. So, uh, yeah, if you like this video, like and subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.